Hi, hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the new feature comes with C Sharp 10, which is about record. Actually, record as a keyword or as a feature was introduced in C Sharp 9, but now it has been improved further. So in this video, I'm going to talk about comparing between struct and record struct and record class. So let's start. First, to make it easy, I'm going to use an example to explain the difference between them. So generally, if you are interested to build a struct to represent a person, so you may be interested to have two states or two fields. One is name and the other one is ID, right? And also you may have a constructor where you can pass along the values, right? To your, to your object or to your struct, to your variable. Well, now there is an issue if you are familiar with the struct that assuming that let me just disable this part so now if i go to the program.cs right and try to create an object or variables from my struct person now i will get an issue when i'm intent to compare between them if i want to see whether sp1 equals sp2 so i'm going to face an issue and this issue simply means Operator equality cannot be applied to operands of type struct person, right? So simply such thing like this cannot be done, right? And over to overcome this issue, you need to go back to, to your struct and then add a bunch of methods. Like for the operator, right? So here I'm checking on equality, doesn't equal to, and of course you need equals and get hash code. So all these three, four functions you need to include in your struct, okay? So that you enable the equality check and also doesn't equal to as well, right? So this is one way where you need to work using struct in order to represent an entity or data model, for example, in this way. Now this has been become easier where we can create a record struct or record class. So let's go first and see how we can create record struct. Now equivalent to the code that I have created earlier using the struct, I can actually only go and do this stuff where I can define my properties or my fields and then having my constructor to pass along the values, right? Now, if I go back to program.cs, you will see that I'm quite okay, right? I don't have this issue when it comes to record struct, when it comes to equality, because simply behind the scene, the compiler will actually generate the other methods and even will implement the class I equality. So it will be implemented all by the compiler. So I don't need to worry about this stuff. So as you see here, it actually becomes easier. But this is not the full power of harnessing record struct. We will see soon when we come to version 2. Now, if we go to version 2, okay, I can even make it like this. So just I can create my record struct by only having my parameters defined. And you see here, I'm not using the camel case. I'm not using small n or i id with a small i as the case was in record struct. So if you check here, I had to create my parameters right using the camel case since this is a constructor but this is in record struct in this version this is not the case here straight away i'm creating my fields all the way where i declare my record struct so actually it's quite easy right so i don't need to worry about all the other details like i did earlier in record struct so all of these are going to be taken care using I mean this short format of defining my record struct. This is one, one interesting thing. Okay, so before I go further to explain immutability, this is one of also the important feature that comes with record. Let's go to record class. Now record class, if I compare back, consider my case, so I don't need, I don't need this for now, just forget about it. Right, so I have quite similar than what I've done earlier in record struct, right? So actually they are quite, or they are just same, 
Now later I'm going to say what is the difference when you have record class and record struct, but just for now, okay, so now they are same, right? There's nothing different. And again, the compiler will check upon equality and make sure that it follows the value-based equality semantics. So in other words, you create record class when you need to create a reference type, unlike record struct where you are creating a value type. Right. And another matter, it follow value based equality semantic. So as the case we had for record struct, when I create two variables or two objects from my record class person. So these values, these two, I mean, when I need to do the comparison between them equality. So all of these are also valid operations. So you can do this. And since the record class is as mentioned here that this is a reference type but at the same time it follows value-based equality semantics that means when you do comparison or equality check it will check each and every single value of these variables in order to come up with the result whether these two objects are same or not so now at least until this moment you should see the difference between struct and record in general. Now, it might be blur for you or un unclear what is the difference between record struct and record class. But for now, just keep in mind, record struct is a value type while record class is a reference type, right? And both of them will check the value, right? So both of them actually will follow value-based equality. So of course, for value type, this is, I mean, something obvious, right? But again, here to emphasize for record class, this is the case as well. Now, again, checking the value version 2 for record class, again, you can write same thing as we've done earlier with record struct, right, version 2, where you can straight away define your positional record, where you can straight away define your variables, right? And again, I'm following, I'm not following the camel case, right? But it's Pascal case. So now we come to the second part. What is the difference? between record class and record struct. Again, along with what mentioned earlier, this is where you create a reference type and record struct, which creates a value type. Now here, the interesting things come along. Now, when we talk about immutability, immutability means that the ability to conserve the values for your variables inside the record once they are created. That means you're not able to do any changes later once they are created you cannot do that okay now let's see inside an example in program.cs how that is going to be done so now assuming i'm going to create an object from record class person version 2 and then i'm going to change the name later from sammy as the first name or as the name to omar now you see that the compiler will give me an error and it says this is init only property or indexer can only be assigned in an object initializer. Okay, so first things, you, you will see that this is not allowed here. This is not allowed here, and I will tell you how you can do the changes for record class person to make it similar to this one. Okay, but now let's start to record struct and see whether this is the case as well or not. Now, record struct doesn't have an issue. It will allow you to change the value for your variable inside your record. Right, so you, we can say that record class are immutable by default, like following the structure or this way, right? When we define our positional record, while for the struct is not the way. So for record class, actually they are immutable, while is not the case for record struct. And the proof is as we've seen in program.cs, where I was able to change the value for record struct, but was, it was not the case for record class. Now, in order to enforce immutability for record struct as well, then you can go to record struct and then write here, read only. Now, once you do this, now in this case, record struct has been defined to be immutable as well. So now referring back to program.cs, I will get the same error as I got earlier for record class. So record class is immutable. Record struct is not unless you explicitly define your struct as read only. Now, if we refer back to the earlier or the long version of record class and record struct, what does that mean? 
Now, if I come here, you may wonder, is this also immutable or not? Actually, this is not immutable. That means I can't change. Why I can't change? Because simply I have explicitly defined my variables, right? Or my fields, and I have already specified, for example, for name, it has a get and set functions, right? So that means I'm able to change the value since I have already declared that for name. But if you check for ID, actually it says in it, or this is only initializer, that means I will be able only to initialize the value for ID when I construct or create an object from record class, but it's not the case later on. So let's see how that works. Okay, so now this is clear, this is not gonna work. Okay, so referring back to the case where we are talking about record class, so let's say I'm interested to change for rcp1.name to Omar, so that's fine, you see, but now if you try to change for ID, okay, let's say I need to put 22, then this is not the case. So now again, this will look similar to this scenario. By default, right, if you are interested just to create positional record as we've done here, so this is immutable. Okay, so just to keep a comment, this is immutable, right, by default. It intends to work like this. Now, if you like to change the behavior, then you need to write something like this and change the behavior of one of the fields, for example, as the case here, where you can set, you have the set indicator for this variable. Or just you can mark it as init, and then in this case, it will look similar to the case in version 2. Now, if we go to struct, and again, in this case, you need to mark this as read only to make it immutable. And once you do so, you see that you will get an error here because you are required to change this from set to init. Right? So now this will actually be equivalent, look equivalent to version two with read only. I know there are many things we have discussed. Okay, so let's recap. So in struct, we are creating a value type, right? But the problem in here, in struct, that we need to define other methods to enable equality, like the example here, if I need to do this checking. So this is the problem in struct. So you have work to do in order to enable these things. And now this is for one struct. If you need to create many structs, so you need to do these things again and again. Now, if you go to record struct or record class, this implementation, will be taken care by the compiler, right? So you do not need to do, to implement the method or the operators for equality and non-equality, okay? So these will be taken care by the compiler. Now, if we come to compare between record class and record struct, as we said, record class is reference type, record struct is value type. And another matter, as we said in version two, record class are immutable, right? While record struct, are, are not unless you specify the keyword read only. So once you say read only, then as we've seen in the full version of record struct, the compiler has forced us to change to mark name with only init method. So that means only you can, you are able to initialize the value for name during the initialization time. Okay, I hope this video has clarified the difference between record, record class and record struct. If you have a question, you may leave it in the comment box below. Thank you for watching.